Love is the foundation of every marriage. It really is the most important ballast that holds everything down. Cherish is sort of the spice. You can love without cherishing, but you can't cherish without loving. My life changed when I could realize King David felt cherished by God. He said, the Lord God loves me because he delights in me. And I, I felt like, well, God has to love me because he's supposed to love everyone who accepts his son. But the notion that God cherishes who I am changed the way I relate to God. And I'm just trying to bring that same idea into marriage, that, that love is important. And I think love should be emphasized and should be celebrated. But I wanna go to that next level to cherish. And that's what I think this series seeks to do. In this study, as we explore Cherish, it's all about how do we cultivate a mind and heart that newly appreciates our spouse, that celebrates our spouse, that, <laughs> using the word, cherishes our spouse, to the extent that we want others to cherish our spouse, so we want others to see their excellence. And that shapes the way we live our marriage. It shapes the questions that we ask in the morning. It, it changes our expectations. It resets our goals. There are these spiritual practices that literally change my heart, that literally change my mind, and move me toward a cherishing mindset. My prayer for this series from the very start has been that couples would get a new vision for what marriage can be, to go beyond love to the higher level of cherish, and to have the hope and belief that they can get there, that there are things they can do and choose and practice that will give them a cherishing heart for each other.